picture of Senator Kelly Leffler has gotten a lot of attention since the weekend. The man standing next to her is white supremacist Chester Doles. Several news outlets report it was taken Friday at a campaign event in Dawsonville. Doles is a former leader of the Ku Klux Klan. He served time in prison for beating a black man, according to the Baltimore Sun. He's also been connected to neo-Nazi and skinhead groups, and the Associated Press reports he marched in the 2017 Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. I'm a fourth generation Klansman. What do you think happened to the roads? I still believe people of European descent have every right to shake the shackles of white privilege and white guilt that's been shoved down our children's throats. That's from an interview with Doles last year ahead of a free speech pro-Trump rally he organized in Dahlonega. It turned into a two-hour vocal battle between Doles' group, counter-protesters, and hundreds of law enforcement officers deployed to keep the peace. For Senator Leffler's part, her deputy campaign manager says she had no idea who Doles was, and if she had, she would have, quote, kicked him out immediately because we condemn in the most voracious terms everything he stands for. Video of the event Doles went to shows person after person coming up to Senator Leffler for a photo. On the other side of the political spectrum, conversations online about the neo-Nazi support. Her runoff opponent, Democrat Raphael Warnock, points to why her rallies draw people who share Doles' avowed beliefs about nationalism and white supremacy. His campaign released a statement saying, in part, while Kelly Leffler runs a campaign based on dividing and misleading Georgians, she's once again trying to distance herself from someone who is a known white supremacist and former KKK leader who nearly beat a black man to death. The campaign goes on to point to a GOP rally in September where Doles was in attendance alleging Leffler said she was not aware of Doles at that time.